Hi hey folks, I thought I'd better get back to some watercolours for you, having done over a week of oil. Uh, right, the usual palette, you all know what it is. Uh, right, I'll wet the paper all over. This is on uh, £90 Salford, Sa Saunders Waterford rough paper. I just ordered three more packs of this. So I'll have to use them, won't I? When they come from... I'm ordering from Ken Bromley this uh, rough paper, £90 rough. It's a lovely paper. The three packs, including postage, were just over £40. So, it's, so but it's of quality paper. Although it's light in weight, it's not light in quality. It's very, it's very good. So let's just put in a bit of that. And uh, well, let's go in with a bit of blue. Nice bit of ultramarine. Look. I'll just put this uh, nice sky, a bit similar to what we've got going over in London at the moment. Well, it has some rain today. Plenty of clouds. Oh, we lost three th third wicket. Watching cricket on my uh, listening on my headphones. So, all right. Now we'll put in a bit of a bit of ochre. Oh, sorry, raw sienna. I only use the uh, yellow ochre for oil painting. <clears throat> so a little bit of a little bit of red and a little bit of a bit of the uh, warmer sienna. I will just while the paper's wet, you can do quite a bit with it. I will add, add some red to the blue. Get a nice rich cloud colour. Uh, oh no, we haven't lost anybody who's given the benefit of the doubt. Big shout went up for those. Test match uh, followers. Okay, I'm going to use my small hate now. Now, I was thinking of, of doing some some wetting wet on that. But if I do, it won't match the sky. If you've got a sky that you with detail in, it's no good putting a misty background in. You've got to be consistent. So this is this is basically a, a watercolor painting, wetting wet to start with. But then, as the paper dries, you go in with your more solid colors. But get your sky out of the way. That's the whole thing. Clark says, horizon, sky, middle, foreground. Have some more fun, HSMF. So I think that's quite, quite a, quite a sunsetty sort of uh, sky. I'll, I'll give that a, a try with a hand dryer. So, close, oh look, the bits that I haven't uh, dissolved there. Right, close your eyes, close your, right, mute your sound, or fast forward, go. With this paper, you can get a wonderful softness. You certainly can't get that with uh, the uh, the cheaper studio quality papers that have only got about thirty percent linen. But this is this is a lightweight paper. But as I say, it's very very good quality. The Saunders Waterford 
Right, we'll put in a bit of background there and uh, see what happens. So that's a bit of water. Oh, we've got a bit of distance. So a little bit of green field. Bit of distance, bit of dry brush. Warm that up, bit of sienna, bit more dry brush, burnt sienna that is, and maybe a bit of bit of Payne's grey. Leaving a bit of sparkle. So you see how rough that is, can't you? I'm working hard to fill the uh, the holes. We don't want to fill all of the holes. A nice yellowy orange. Just go over that. Sort of warmer colour, a bit of a bit of shadowy or cloud reflection or cloud cast on the ground. Alright, that'll do that'll be bad enough for that for the moment. Let's just try the brush. I'm just making this up as I'm going along. It's good fun when you're sort of flying by the seat of your pants, but I'm keeping it as simple as possible. It's pretty about, about those blues. I'll give that a dry. See how flat that's, that's keeping. sure if this if this will work I'm going to um, get a bit of tissue I'm going to, to lift a path out of that so I'll just wet this large this lovely inch flat just just scrape it out or lift it out with a bit of a bit of wet Just loosening it and just scraping it off. So what happens is quite you can lift out quite a lot of that colour. Then I can put um some hedgerows and stuff. I'm going to put in some back, background trees now. Oops. Right, it's a nice brush that one, Pro Art Proline. Good for masts and things on like my team. Ah, cold. Well, I've got this little hake here, I forgot I had. I don't, I don't think I've used it very much. So an inch lang nickel, an inch uh, hake. Oh, let's just muck about with it. Take some water off. Find where well, I put my paints. Right, let's go into the the background here and uh, just put in some distant trees. Move my hair dry a while. My roller chair's catching it. Okay, just a bit of bit of palette grey. Bit darker than that, I think. It's quite a soft, soft brush. Not sure I'd use it for very much. No, I don't like it. No, that's why I don't use it. Throw that over with the with the dead hakes.
Oh, we just put in a little bit of heavier stuff here. So, we'll a little bit. Just using the corner of the brush. You need a very light hand with painting, with art, with all this sort of stuff. Just, just touching. Because if you if you do it too hard, it, it's just going muddy and. Oh, let's just brighten that up a little bit as we're coming into the sunny a bit in this picture. A bit of change. You always change the colour, just add different bits of bits of colour to, to avoid monotony. I love using hakes. You can you can use all you can use your mops and squirrels. I I do occasionally, as you know. Okay, well let's put in a bit of uh, bit of hedgerow here. Oops. Might put some larger trees in. Well, just just gently kissing the kissing the paper. And while that's wet, just drop in a little bit of the shadow and you can get a bit of a, a bit of green. Now because it's a rough paper you do need more water on it than if it was a smooth. See how easy that is? Just gently touching the paper, just letting the paper caress the rough surface and it leaves quite a bit of sparkle. Throw some yellow in there. Okay. I imagine just a sort of a country view walking along a there's some real good darks in, in the shadow there. Not enough water on the brush there. Don't like that. It's all very gentle. Got a bit of shadow in there. Well, I want some dark shadow on that side here. A little bit of sienna. Just on that side, show the light is uh, coming out. I can put some leaves or some 
twigs on there. Oh, it's got a nice dark out. Oh, just had a little bit of shadow. The what the colour was on the brush. Okay, I'm going to try that. I'm going to put some detail in there. All right, okay. Where's my head? What? Head, headphones off. Go. Use this little brush, the little, the small or the medium Ron Manson Hake. It's got a bit of dark on there, bit of warm darkness. This. That'll dry a nice one, I hope. Right. So it's a sort of a late afternoon, early evening. I think we'll call that. Um, right, let's put a bit of a hedgerow, or a bit of a tree, a bit of a sort of a hazel tree just growing out of that. Uh, one here. Bigger one. So I won't cover up all my background, I'll try not to. Right, got some light in there. And we've got a bit of dark under there. Try that off and I'll texture it. I might use a large tape. Okay, I'll use the regular, I think. <coughs> A bit of warm dark, a bit of um, a bit of um, Payne's grey mixed with some burnt sienna. No. to bring some of your branches down. A 
the tape of your, your trunks, branches. I don't know who's good at this. Comes with age. So this is a little shadow here. Bit thick on that one, I'll see if I can thin that down a bit. Hmm. A bit of darky sort of colour in there, because I don't like that, I made a bit of a mess, a bit of a hash. We had a bit of ivy going up there. Okay, well, I don't think I want to do much more than that, so I'll. Uh, Sign it. I might put a bit of gouache, I'll certainly get a signature. Just a little bit of a Just a little bit. I, will, I think I'll use that uh, large brush, that's an inch flat. No, no, I don't. I'll use. I've got a. I've got a three quarter flat. I just want to put in some uh, some fence posts. Using gouache, so don't mix it in your, your watercolour, just put it in your watercolour first and add to the gouache, otherwise you'll find it all goes, goes opaque. Yeah, that's the lovely you want to do there. Okay, that'll do. I'll put a bird in, and then I'll put it in a mount. Easy birds. This as simple as possible. I think I've probably overdone the clutter in it. I've, maybe I can just brighten that up a little bit. Just a bit there. So we get a bit of sienna, a touch of panes. Just just warm it up a bit. Nice little brush this. 
Okay, so autumn and evening light, evening light in autumn. E evening autumn light. <coughs> okay, let's put the mount on. There we are. So if I can take most of my bit of that blue out. No, I can't take a lot of it. It's okay, it's a it's what it is, it's a demonstration. Uh I'm losing my steps. That one on there. I saw my clips. Uh, I've got two sets of flat bulldog ones and one of the document clips, and I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, there they are, look under all my rags. Right, uh, I'll take. I'll just lift you out of that, and I'll see if I can. Zoom in a bit as well. All right, let's just zoom, zoom in. I can't go around the picture because it's too difficult. But I can go up and down. And you can see what I've done there. So there we are, very, very simple. I've balanced that tree with this one here. I could probably go up a bit higher than with that one, but, I, but I'm not. It's, what it is is fields, looking at the fields, a bit of, bit of white gouache here and there. Um, I'll pr probably make a bit more of that because uh, I think I've got to lose it with a bit of paint grey. Okay, that then. You can I really overdo the gouache, very easy to get carried away with it and use too much. But anyway, there's uh, one for you to be getting on with. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. I'll just. Uh, yeah. Okay, see you later. Bye bye.